Hey, Keller here again. Welcome back. First order of business here is to get Armstringer pulled into our scene. So let's jump right in and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Unity and start a new project. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is add Steam VR to our scene. It is very much required for arms for you to work properly. Uh, mine happened to come up at the asset store. If your tab is missing, then just go window and then asset store. And then search for Steam VR. In my case, I'm just going to import all the files. Now we'll go ahead and accept all the recommendations. All right, so Steam VR is imported. Uh, the other thing that you'll need to get from the asset store is Arm Swinger, which unfortunately I can't show you because it's not on the store yet as of this recording. Uh, I'm just going to load it locally, but all you would do is search for Arm Swinger, and it should be right at the top of the options there. Uh, I'm actually going to do it from a local package I have saved. Okay, and go ahead and import everything. All right, great, and we are done with the asset store for now. So we come back to our scene. Uh, let's go ahead and make some interesting uh, geometry for us to test arm swinger on, or at least semi-interesting. Um, start by deleting the main camera. We certainly don't need it. And then I'm going to insert, say, a plane. And then I'll make a duplicate plane, except I'll turn that into a wall. There we go. And then let's also put a slope. Okay, so that should give us something to start with. Uh, you will notice that when these planes are created, they actually come with uh, mesh colliders, which is critical. Uh, Arm Swinger requires colliders in order for the raycast that it is shooting when it does all of its detection to work. So all of your uh, ground surfaces and walls will need uh, colliders on them in order for Arm Swinger to work correctly. So I have a very simple scene set up here. The next thing we're going to do is add the camera rig from the Steam VR package. Just in Steam VR, prefabs, camera rig. All right, there's our play space right there. Okay, so now it's time to configure Arm Swinger. So we look under Assets, Arm Swinger, Scripts, and just drag the Arm Swinger script onto your camera rig. And that's really kind of all there is to it to get started. Um, Arm Swinger comes with sane defaults, and so you can kind of leave it how it is if you want and not mess with it further, and uh, go ahead and use it in your scene. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that now. Uh, we'll go ahead and start this scene up. And let me put on my headset. All right, so here we are in our very complicated and story-driven world that we've created. And we can see that Arm Swinger works. In fact, I can climb this slope. I can move up and down it. And if I want, I can walk over into this wall and push into it. And everything appears to be working OK. And that's really all there is to it at a basic level. Uh, all of the defaults on uh, Arm Swinger are pretty sane and will work in an environment as simple as three planes that are configured by default. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the test scene that comes with the Unity Asset Store version. Uh, it has a bunch of different obstacles and different things that you can uh, test uh, Arm Swinger with. And we'll start exploring how each setting affects that scene. See you in the next video.